Hello, and welcome back to my series of me trying to learn how to TIG weld. On today's episode, which is the second episode, but the first real episode, I'm going to be attempting to get my tungsten sharpened, get my TIG torch set up, and get my gas system set up. Before we begin, I would like to let you guys know again that I am not an expert, and I don't claim to know anything of what I am talking about. The point of this series is not for me to tell you exactly what is right. It is for you to be able to follow along and be a supplement to other information that you're gathering. I think this is valuable because a lot of the people who are masters, it's been a very long time since they had to learn. And yes, they have lots of great information, information that I can only dream to one day have, but I'm going to be doing it and you guys are going to be watching in real time. So if there's anything that I notice or come up, with or problems that I have which I know there's going to be a lot I can point them out to you guys and hopefully you can do something with that information the very first thing I'm going to be doing is sharpening my tungsten this is 2% thoriated I think that's how you say it but it's the red tungsten um, I was told that this is going to be a good go-to for getting going and I uh, I was recommended the 330 seconds size uh, that's the diameter of it um, so I'm going to be attempting to sharpen this now the information that I've gathered is I know I'm going to want to sharpen it vertically because sharpening it uh, horizontally it can apparently cause a little bit of resistance to the flow of electricity so we're gonna see what we can do This might not be perfect, it might not be good at all, I don't know, but I think that this turned out pretty good. Uh, but, I, like I have said, I don't know what I am doing. So next I'm going to be attempting to assemble the torch itself with all the parts needed. I already went and I found the uh, 330 seconds, because that's the size tungsten I'm using, the 330 seconds standard call it body so i believe that this threads in like this and then i need the 330 seconds call it itself and that will drop down into the call it body which it has and then i'm going to need a standard type cup which i think i'm going to try the number seven for now I also have gas lenses and then the special cups used for those but I think I'm best off just going with the standard type for now uh, because I, I don't know the differences I might as well just go with the standard one now I'm not sure about how much stick out I need I think well, that's as far back as it goes. It might be way too much. I'm going to try this. If anybody who actually knows what they're doing is watching this, feel free to leave any information in the comments. I feel like that might be too long, but I'm going to try it. So I believe now the TIG torch is all ready to be used. But now what I have to do before I can use it is get the gas all set up. So I've got this flow meter here that I got at the place that I got my gas. I got a high quality one, which I think that should uh, give me a better chance at making some decent welds. Um, so this is going to thread into the uh, actual gas canister itself and then this is going to go to my gas lines which go to the welder and then from that there's the connections to go to the TIG torch. I think this is going to be fairly simple to get all hooked up. Uh, I'm going to use Teflon tape that I got as well and get this all hooked up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I've got a sort of temporary setup for now until I get uh, something figured out that's going to be better than this. But, as you can see, I've got my flow meter going through my gas line into the welder. And then I've got the TIG torch connected and the power for the TIG torch as well. 
and the TIG torch is all set up and I've got some material ready to go. So now I am ready to start welding. Um, I'm going to make that the next episode. So this is going to be it for today. Uh, don't forget that if you want to check out some welders similar to the one I've got here and some other accessories as well, go to Yes Welder and use code SUMMER, S-O-M-M-E-R at checkout and that'll help out the channel, make this series even better. Um, so stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.